um, we're really excited to be here and, and talk with you a little bit about um, walking and what we do, um, but then also tell you a little bit about our, our uh, story arc with Tatango, which has been, uh, I think, a really exciting and, and unique uh, perspective, and hopefully it'll be informative. So we'll go ahead and, and jump right in. First of all, just, just want to do a couple of introductions. I'll, I'll hand over Lindsay if, if you want to introduce yourself. My name is Lindsay Bigelow. I'm a global director of our service operations team. Uh, so essentially what that means is I manage policy, procedure, and our tech stack. And I also get to work with amazing directors like Kyle to help them purchase softwares that are going to meet their business needs, both from a purchasing perspective and then also helping with the implementation and setup. And my name is Kyle Hammett. I'm a senior director for professional services at WalkMe. Uh, I've been with WalkMe for a little over three and a half years and um, have had the very good fortune to partner with Lindsay uh, for the vast majority of that. Um, we work very closely together. Uh, I oversee teams in our Raleigh, North Carolina uh, office, but principally we focus on a segment of our business we call commercial and uh, we run the post-sale implementation and uh, journey management for those customers. Uh, so I wanna tell you a little bit more about WalkMe as we, as we get started here, give you a little bit of insight into what it is that we do. Um, WalkMe is a digital adoption platform and you may have started to hear this more prominently in the marketplace, but the idea, the core sort of mission statement that we have as an organization is our goal is to help by making technology adapt to the user rather than the other way around. Um, and the goal there is that we want to help all of our partner organizations be able to get maximum value out of their technology investments that they're making. So that's all great. Everybody has a mission statement. It all sounds good, right? So what does it really boil down to in terms of what we do? Um, the, I think the simplest and, and maybe the most impactful analogy that I've, that I've heard or that I've used is imagine having GPS for every application that you use every day, right? So everything that you run on your computer, everything you run on your smartphone, just having a digital assistant to help you through it. Now that's an oversimplification. And we'll talk a little bit more about how we actually do it, but that gives you a sense of, of what it is that we, we contribute. The stats on the right side of the screen are the ones that uh, I get really excited about. I know Lindsay does as well. These are not made up. These are not you know, smoke and mirrors. These are actual numbers. Um, so we tracked over 500 billion with a B interactions just in 2020 alone. And in terms of who we work with, we work with over 2000 SaaS and enterprise companies, 30% of those from the Fortune 500, 40% from the Fortune 100. And that spans quite a wide gamut. We were tasked, myself and Kyle, with creating a model that was essentially no touch, so tech touch, no CSM in the background kind of guiding things along. We were asked to support a customer base with essentially no resources. So myself and Kyle got together and we said, we absolutely need a customer success software. Again, I think in all seriousness, Tatango stood out far and away above the rest. The reason it stood out to us so much is because A, the email campaign functionality, nobody else had anything like that. It was so unique to Tatango and we really felt like we could use that to make a big impact. Um, and number two, you know, having experience with other CS softwares in the past, things like Gainsight, um, I really didn't like how dependent we were with those systems on an information systems team. Uh, so having the ability and flexibility to do so much on our own was really important and we really felt like we could do that with Tatango. We began in late 2019. Um, as Lindsay said, we were really focused in principle on our SMB market segment and building a low touch, high volume uh, model. And so we felt great about having Tatango come in and, and start to be the sort of the, the backbone of as we approached Q2. That was when we really started our, our phase one deployment, uh, which was principally focused around success plays and tasks, health scoring for what we call consultants, you might call CSMs, but our consultants to drive their day-to-day -day project life cycles with their multitude of customers. And at that point, they were managing anywhere between 50 to 70 customers uh, simultaneously. So this was also the point where we started to come up with the idea and, and strategize our one-to-many program, which we call Compass. As we approached Q3, that's where the expansion started. Um, we added 
through an amazing <laughs> amount of work from Lindsay and, and really driving strategy. Um, we added multiple other data sources into our integration with Tatango. Um, so that allowed us to really take an incredible tool like Tatango and take it to the next level. So pulling data sources, not only just from Salesforce, but from our internal data lakes, our editor, our, our actual platform data lakes, and pull that in so that we could build an even more robust experience uh, for our users and our customers. We started building campaigns into our Compass program as we started to do digital communication with our customers. That was a first uh, for us as, as a business. In Q4, expansion part two. Um, so we have now expanded in Q4 into pulling in all of our customer accounts. We've started to build success plays into our Compass team. We look at our customer and our partnership engagements from the standpoint of when a customer comes in, they may want to solve an initial pain point. But in order for us to secure long-term lasting partnership with them, we have to solve that problem and then find the next application and the next problem and the next application and the next problem. Mm -hmm. So by doing that constantly, we were applying that same methodology here, which is to say, okay, we, we attacked that initial challenge, but now how can we do more and how can we expand this? And so as we look ahead into 2021, we have some really exciting um, new things on the horizon. Uh, we are bringing our entire account manager or CSM organization into Tatango. We are building campaigns for lifecycle marketing for all of our customer base now. Uh, and we're also continuing to expand the functionality that we're leveraging inside Tatango for our Compass team, dynamic assignment, tasks, success plays, um, overlapping with that account management system as well. Uh, so I'm gonna hand back over to her and she's gonna tell you a little bit more about some of the, the specific ways we've, we've used it over the, the course of the year. Um, so one of the first things we started with was campaigns and using kind of an onboarding campaign, we call it 15 days of walk me, each day to introduce our customers to something we knew would provide value for them that would make them learn how to use our tool, be successful with it, and wanna stay on as partners long-term. Um, the second thing, and this is the piece I thought was really cool with the campaigns, was just the ongoing help. So up until this point, before we started using Tatango, we had always kind of had our Salesforce data as a way for us to monitor help. But what we also had on the back end was this huge analytics platform um, that WalkMe owns, but if we wanted to look at anything, it was very manual. You had to go in account by account to see how things were performing. And for the first time with Tatango, you guys allowed us an integration with that analytics platform so that we could actually look at that data at scale, you know, make things automated and couple it with our Salesforce data to give us this holistic view of customer health which we had never had before. And that is where my, once, once I saw that, my evangelism for your product was like, oh my gosh, we need to get this in everybody's hands. This is the coolest thing we've ever done. Um, so basically we had five main campaigns, both for monitoring scenarios where we knew they were very healthy. They were using all of the features that um, make great customers. And then if we saw really low usage, we could also send these emails kind of trying to, um, you know, increase that usage. So on the next slide, what I want to show you is um, just kind of this amazing coupling of both Tatango's technology as well as WalkMe's technology um, and kind of how we, we work the two together. So the first thing you're going to see is kind of the email campaign that we send out from Tatango uh, where we're kind of introducing a new feature and catching this user when they need it. This click to begin, this call to action button, this is actually Walk Me. This is our product we've embedded into your emails, which then gives the user the step-by-step -step guidance they need to actually follow through on that ask and use that feature we've told them. Um, so that's kind of, we, we found this great way of marrying the two technologies together um, so that we use Tatango for the email campaigns to, to target them when we need to. And then from there, our call to action is actually our own product and saying, this is actually, if you want a step-by-step -step guide to how you do this, we've got you covered. 
And then finally, just the success plays. Uh, we knew from the start that, you know, the email campaigns were for those very black and white scenarios, but there's a lot of grayness with customer health. Um, so we set up plays on the back end so that we could have one person, it's actually a small team of people now, that are monitoring health at scale um, and can really follow up on those scenarios where it wouldn't really make sense to, to contact the customer directly, but they can kind of check and see what's going on there. And that's where it all started. We had a lot of help along the way. And uh, again, I think really looking at where were the opportunities? Um, so we had some, some preconceived notions of what we thought we wanted to do when it came in or, or when, when we brought to Tango in, but you know, quickly we were looking for opportunities to, to optimize or to increase efficiency. Um, so you know, the customer journey plays that, that Lindsay just talked about, we had our processes really thoroughly documented externally in, in a Google Drive. And our, our consultants, our, our solutions engineers were using this on a daily basis. But when we started to move that into Tango, it allowed them to execute at a much more efficient pace, especially when we were scaling up with more and more customers in the program. So rather than having to, to pull out of their, their process or their day-to-day, -day, they could stay in the tool, continue working, have specific guidance for them to follow on what's next, mm -hmm. uh, which was which was a huge huge win for them uh, to be able to to manage their processes. Um, it was really connecting with new data sources. So at WalkMe, we had a lot of data that lived in a lot of different systems, and primarily up until Tatango, it was very manual on how you would go look and find that data. Um, so Tatango really gave us the ability to, again, bring all of our data sources together in one place and really give us this, this automated, scalable view of health that we had never had prior. Um, one thing that we have been really good at is tracking our results on everything and monitoring it. Mm -hmm. um, so when we put the email campaigns in place, we could see, okay, they're getting this many open rates and we put attached goals to them so we could actually see if they were helping us increase product usage, which they were. Um, so then I kind of took that and said, let's go on this PR tour and let's kind of, I mean, it takes a lot of effort, right? Sometimes promotion is like a full-time job in itself on top of your job. So, but I knew, I knew that this technology is, could help our business so much. So first I tried to get it, you know, in front of people in marketing. Um, I wanted to see what they were using and we really weren't doing much with, you know, life cycle management from a marketing perspective. Um, so getting this under their radar, getting them excited about it, starting to, you know, get them to realize, imagine if you could, you know, touch a larger customer base with this tool, you know, then you build true uh, excitement. And actually now we're hiring for a full-time position for someone on the marketing team who will work primarily on lifecycle marketing into Tango. Um, so once we kind of had marketing excited, then we decided to go to the CSM org with it and, you know, get it. And I think, you know, it, it takes some time. It's just the right people um, not giving up if you know it's going to be a tool that's going to impact your business, which we knew it was. We're really looking at a multitude of data points. Um, so we look all the way down into the into the granular details of, of what we evaluate customer health on internally. So we look at how are our customers doing and we try and draw a line back to what are the processes we're running inside to Tango. So if we're thinking about success plays, we wanna see out of those success plays, what's the outcome? of those. So how many of those customers are we able to, based on the content of that success play, actually course correct? Same thing for the email campaigns, the calls to action. What are not only open rates and click-through rates, but the calls to action. How does that correlate with the actual usage in our tool or the engagement with our permalinks that we send out or our in-app guidance that we've built into, into our product? Um, so as we expand and as we bring this TSM organization in and as marketing comes in, they'll, they'll have their own sets of, of KPIs or metrics that they want to measure against. Um, but what we're trying to do is almost build an, an ecosystem uh, within the organization where 
if a group wants to come into to Tango, then you need to come in with a set of, you know, a use case, a challenge that you want to solve. And then you can talk with, you know, talk with Lindsay, talk with me about how we might be able to do this. We actually, we did it yesterday with one of our sales directors uh, who is, is going to have a unique function on her team where she manages uh, an aspect of renewals. Mm -hmm. And so she wants to put to Tango in place to connect her renewal managers to a more scalable process around mm -hmm. renewals and expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, you know, you, you constantly have to be tracking the data and tracking the information to see what's working and not be afraid to change when something isn't going the way you want. You can't just lay down and quit on it. You, you might need to change it or go another direction. This is actually our last slide. Um, so as we go into this next year, again, just kind of re-hitting the points here, we're, we're bringing our CSM org into to Tango. Um, so some initial things they're gonna be using, risk triggers, health, success plays. They want to scale uh, an organization that, that is focused on efficiency this year. Um, we're also expanding our Compass program. More data points coming into the tool now uh, that we've built externally that now we want to integrate into the day-to-day -day process for, for Compass. Um, additional expansion of campaigns and new ways of using those. Um, Lindsay, do you want to touch on these others? Sure. Um, I think when we, I touched on it briefly, but with our marketing team, the idea that we've actually hired for a role now that's going to handle lifecycle marketing, that speaks volumes to the results we've seen to date. Um, and that's not just for SMB, that's globally for our entire customer base. Um, and then additionally, thinking about, you know, not just that we're changing to the CSM org outside of just SMB, but we've tripled our licenses. We've made sure um, we're covered from a global company perspective, just speaks to the value and the opportunity we see at Walk Me. Things change very quick. That's the exciting part about your tool. It lets us be very adaptive. And again, we can do so much on our own, which is amazing.